Welcome back everyone. This is GTA Failure. In our last video, we brought our coin total all the way up to 1,341 by collecting the coins associated with three treasure maps. So we got all the coins in the ground and all the coins on the ground, but there are more coin sources available in this game, including fishing, which is the topic of this video and the next one. We'll first remind ourselves of where the Donald Duck boat is because that's where we'll sell our fish and then we'll do the fishing tutorial at Meteor Lake. Online, there's a lot of information about fishing in this game, and much of what I read is incomplete or just straight up wrong. So I'm going to clarify some fishing facts in this video. So here, here's Donald. And as soon as we have some fish to sell, we'll bring them to him. And we're basically just going to head straight this way, straight away from the coast, which is where we'll find Meteor Lake, which is where we can unlock the fishing rod. All right, so like I said, I'm going to clarify fishing facts in this video. I'll explain how to fill up your fishing journal, which is a book we don't even have yet. I'll tell you exactly how many unique fish there are to catch, and I'll show you where to catch each of them. I'll tell you how to, how to get the golden rod and how to get the fishing achievement. So I'll tell you all of those things. Um, so first, let's do this tutorial. How's it going? Good. The fish are biting today. Cool, cool. So uh, is fishing hard? Nope. It's easy. I could show you if you'd like. So if we say not now, then I think uh, he just says, okay, goodbye. I've got somewhere to be maybe later and then hello again. And now we'll ask for the fishing tutorial. Oh, he says, already, you get going then. So I guess slightly different text there. And now we got it to repeat. So now we're ready to move forward with the fishing tutorial. Sure, here, I'll lend you my spare rod. Okay, so this is ours to keep for the rest of the game. Casting your line is pretty easy. Just press U or whatever the action button is that you've mapped. And then basically you just have to wait. And so while we're waiting, I'll uh, explain a little bit here about the um, uh, stuff that we need to do in order to uh, get the golden fishing rod and the um, fishing achievement. Okay, uh, so uh, every fishing spot has a specific collection of fish that you can catch there and with specific percentages. So for example, this spot right here, right next to Bill, this the walrus that gave us the uh, fishing rod is a 100% northern pike spot. So whenever you cast your line right here in this area, you're going to get a northern pike 100% of the time, except for during the tutorial. In this case, I'll catch a, a common carp. I don't know what the collection of fish are that are available during the tutorial, but the common carp is an ocean fish. It shouldn't be in a lake normally. Okay, so Bill is explaining the tutorial, and eventually when the thing bites, when the buoy goes under, not buoy, the bobber goes under the water, then you're supposed to touch the U button or the action button repeatedly. Now I'm not here, I just wanted to see if the fish would get away, uh, and it will on every other casting of your line except for in the tutorial. They don't want you to fail the tutorial. In fact, the game designer doesn't want you to fail anything in this game, which is great. Uh, so here I'm going to tap you repeatedly and then pull back, meaning uh, like away from the direction uh, that the fish is in as if you're reeling in the fish. So I guess I'm holding up and right and tapping the U button repeatedly. Okay, so there's our common carp. Excellent. See? Easy as pie. I don't know if I'd say that. I suck at baking. I guess I mean easy as eating pie? I can get behind that. That's like free candy for all. We could all get behind that. So what do I do with the fish? Whatever you want, kid. Well, thanks for showing me how to fish. No problem. You're a natural. I don't feel like one. Okay, and then we repeat. And then I'll show you that we now have a category for fish. And in here is the only fish we've caught. It's the common carp. Notice that the fish are listed there, even though we haven't sold them to Donald yet. So you don't need to sell them to get them to just show up in your fishing collection, your fish, your uh, the fish that you actively are holding. That's what's shown in the inventory there. So um, fishing, uh, it takes a while initially, but once you get bait, it goes quicker. I don't have any bait yet. I won't have any for the whole video, but we'll get some bait in the next video. Okay, so as predicted, 100% of the time, Northern Pike. And now if you go to the Southern part of Meteor Lake, then we get uh, two other fish, not the Northern Pike anymore, but um, with a 37.5% chance, we catch a rainbow trout. That'll be the next one you see me get. And with a 62.5% chance, we get a yellow perch. And so that'll be the one that I get next. So rainbow trout coming now, and then yellow perch. All right. Um, so uh, all of the uh, percentages and which fish are available where are um, visible in the fabulous interactive map, which is linked in the video description below. On that website, you just turn off all the collectibles and then turn on the fishing button. If you're following along with me, you want to stay at each fishing spot until you get at least one normal variety of each fish that spawns there. 
You're welcome to stay in each fishing spot until you also catch a rare version of each, each fish that spawns there, but know that this may, this may take a very long time and that catching rare fish will take less time once we have the golden rod. Also note that the rare version of the rainbow trout won't show up until you talk to the permit guy. We'll do this in the next video. Either way, don't leave Meteor Lake until you have caught a regular northern pike, a regular yellow perch, and a regular rainbow trout. Tiny or big versions are also fine as they count exactly the same as catching a normal fish. Okay, so what's the deal with the normal fish and the, um, the rare fish? All right, so there are exactly uh, 14 fish. Here you, go. you can see the first four that we've caught. Three of them are standard in this uh, meteor lake, and then the common carp uh, is normally only an ocean fish, but we just got it because we were in the tutorial. So there are exactly 14 unique normal fish, and we've already mentioned the four of those that we've caught here, the common carp, the northern pike, the yellow perch, and the rainbow trout. Every normal fish has a rare counterpart, and most of the rare counterparts are albinos. I've listed all 28 unique fish in the description below. Okay, so let's start selling stuff. So we're gonna sell the common carp, and we'll get five for it, five coins, and then we'll sell the northern pike. Would you look at that, the northern pike? I can give you 20 for it. Let's go, cha-ching. And next up, the rainbow trout. Nice catch. The rainbow trout is a personal favorite of mine. I'll trade you 20 coins for it. You're quite good at this. You should take my journal. It'll help you keep track of the fish you've found. All right, so once you have deposited three unique fish, you get the journal. Pleasure doing business with you. So I do have one more fish to sell, but I think I want to show the journal off first. If we went into the fish tab, you only see the one remaining fish that I have on hand that I haven't sold yet. But here's the journal. It's got the four fish that we've already collected up at the top and with col uh, colorful pictures filled in. And then the rest of the fish that we're supposed to catch in order to get the golden rod and the trophy. Okay, so again, you saw the one fish that I'm still holding is in the fish tab in my inventory. Okay, so let's sell the last one of these right now, the yellow perch. Good one. The yellow perch has evaded me for a while, but no longer. I'll give you 10 for it. Okay, so that's it. Excellent, excellent. All right, so I'm going to head to the next fishing spot, which will be just off the uh, prow of Donald's boat. I don't know if that's the right word. Stern, aft, something, port. Uh, okay, there's a brook trout. It's spotted. Uh, sorry, a spotted brook trout. It's tiny, but it doesn't matter that it's tiny. I just want to make sure that I get one normal version of each one. There's the spotted brook trout right there. Uh, again, it's okay if it's tiny, and it's okay if it's huge. I just don't want it to say albino for the purposes of being really organized here. The spotted brook trout. Not a fan of this one. Bit me once, but I'm still looking for it. I'll give you eight coins. Okay, let's go. All right, uh, so um, for the purposes of correcting some of the mistakes that I've seen online about fishing in this game, I'm going to catch the 14 normal fish first, all in this video. Then I'll catch the 14 rare fish in the next video. The way that I managed this in this playthrough was by reloading my save whenever I caught a rare fish or a duplicate fish. You don't need to do this if you're playing along with me. You'll catch some normal fish and you'll catch some rare fish and you'll catch some duplicates and it's all fine. Uh, just know that there's going to be a lot of cuts in this video because I'm trying to stay really organized. So the place that we just left has four available fish at different percentages. There's the rainbow trout, which we already got at Meteor Lake. Then there's the common carp, which we happen to get in the tutorial. Then there's the two fish that we got there, the spotted brook trout and the brook trout. So if you're playing along with me, make sure you have all four of those caught uh, before you leave to this next spot. Where I'm headed right now is a bluegill hotspot. So the bluegill is the next fish we're after. And if you go to the beach with all these uh, colorful umbrellas on it, you'll get a bluegill 100% of the time. All right, uh, so I read online that the bigger the fish, the more Donald will pay for it. I also read that you make more money if you sell Donald the albino version of a fish before selling him the normal version of that fish. Neither of these things is true. Donald pays 20 coins for an albino common carp and five coins for a non-albino common carp. The size of the fish doesn't matter. The order in which you sell the fish to Donald doesn't matter, matter either. I did a lot of testing of this, which I haven't included in the video, but it's consistent. Um, Donald only pays for the first regular version of each kind of fish and for the first albino version of each kind of fish. If you offer him any duplicates, he'll give you bait instead of coins, which is helpful. But anyway, uh, the coins only come from the first normal version and from the first rare version of each fish. Okay, uh, the next uh, hotspot we're at right here is the crayfish hotspot. 100% of the time we get a crayfish. You caught a crustacean. Okay, and then we're moving on to the next fishing spot. 
As we saw, once we sold Donald three different kinds of fish, we got the fishing journal. Note that giving Donald a common carp and an albino common carp counts as two separate fish in terms of earning this journal. So you can catch uh, three uh, albino fish or three normal fish or a combination of those two kinds of fish. It's all good and all counts uh, towards the three required to get the fishing journal. Um, said another way, once you get Donald to pay you for selling him three fish, you'll get the fishing journal. Okay, sorry, it's kind of taken me a while to get to my spot, but I was looking for this bend in the Western River here. And we're just gonna start fishing here and we'll get three more fish here out of the river. Catfish, salmon, and burbot in that order. Make sure you don't leave the river right here until you've gotten one normal catfish like that one, one normal salmon, and one normal burbot. You'll get some duplicates probably. You, you might get a rare fish as well, but you wanna make sure you have one normal one of each of those three. Uh, sometimes it takes a long time for a fish to bite. The nibbles will come much more quickly once we use bait in the next video. I put the price of each fish in the video description below. Note that the rare version of each fish always sells for exactly four times the sell price of the normal version. So for example, as we saw, the common carp sold for five coins. We haven't got the albino common carp yet. We'll get that in the next video, but it will sell for four times the five coins. It'll sell for 20 coins. If you catch and sell all 28 fish, that's 14 normal fish and 14 rare varieties of the normal fish, Donald will give you exactly 900 coins in all, no more and no less. Here I'm just demonstrating that you can uh, learn a little bit about where each of these fish is located, even the ones that you haven't caught yet. Known to prefer calm river waters, right. I came down with a cold, right. So then for that fish, we're gonna have to go up into the mountains where it's really cold. Okay, but if you just follow along with me, um, here uh, we're at the place with the uh, lily pads. Um, that's the only place you'll find pumpkin seed fish and it's 100% chance in this lily pad pond for the pumpkin seed fish. So you can read the hints or you can just fish where I fish and just don't leave until you catch every one of the fish available in each of the spots. Here I got a little lost. Once you cross this bridge, just go right. Sorry for the cut here, but just go right. And uh, I ended up fishing from right around here, but I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna go a little bit uh, too far. Uh, I just had some trouble getting my line into the correct spot so that it wouldn't uh, blow away, not blow away, but like float away down the waterfall where I wouldn't catch anything. So while we're here, we're going to catch the white perch. It took me a while to catch this, but of course you're just going to see the one success because I edited out all of the other fish that I got here. All right, um, so the fishing journal initially has shadows for 14 fish in it. These are 14 all normal fish. None of the fish listed in the journal are rare fish initially. When you catch a fish for the first time, the journal updates the shadow with a full colored picture of the fish. When you catch a rare fish, the journal adds a row to represent that rare fish. But this is a point of confusion online, is that the journal only has normal fish, not rare fish, when you first get it. And so in order to get the golden rod and in order to get the um, uh, achievement, you just need to catch the 14 normal fish. You don't need a single rare fish in order to get the rod or the achievement. Okay, so here is our 14th and final fish. Just get up to the uh, peak uh, any way that you can. I, uh, I showed you kind of a different way by going to a neighboring peak, which was a little bit lower. But the white bass, that's it. And now we will scroll through our fishing journal and we will count 14 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 rows. And then back up to the top. That's it. No albino fish, again, with lots of editing and, and reloading my save states. Uh, but anyway, uh, now we're just going to head over to Donald and sell him everything. Uh, but again, uh, even though the rare fish will show up in the journal once you catch them, none of them is required for the goldenrod or for the achievement. In order to get the goldenrod, you need to catch and sell all 14 normal fish. So I've caught them, but I haven't sold them yet. You only get the rod once you sell them. You will get the fish are biting today achievement at the same time as you get the goldenrod, or technically a couple seconds later. But to repeat, you get the golden rod and the fishing achievement the moment you sell your 14th normal fish. Rare fish also show up in the journal when you catch them, but rare fish don't count towards getting the golden rod or the fishing achievement. Okay, let's start selling bluegill. Hmm, I think 15 coins seems like a fair price. I don't know, Donald, I think you're ripping me off here. All right, next up, the crayfish. I'll give you eight for it. I guess we'll take it. We have no bargaining power here. This is brutal. Would you look at that? The catfish. I can give you 10 for it. Next up, the salmon. Nice catch. The salmon is a personal favorite of mine. I'll trade you 20 coins for it. Okay, the burbot, a fish I've never heard of. Good one. The burbot has evaded me for a while. 
but no longer. You can see some of these lines are repeats from lines that Donald gave us when we sold him other fish. Okay, next up, the pumpkin seed fish. Note that it's okay that it's tiny. And this one also bit him. 15 coin there. Okay, two more, the white perch and then the white bass. This one is popular here at Hawk Peak. I'll give you 12 coins for it. Okay, and the last one is the white bass. Hmm, I think 15 coins seems like a fair price. Well now, if I'm not mistaken, it seems like you've gotten me all the fish from my journal. Claire, you've really got a knack for this. Thanks. Hmm, I've got something I think you might find useful. I think I can trust you with this. You found a golden rod. Wow, it's very pretty. Rare fish are drawn to it. You might find some interesting fish with it, but don't lose it. It's very precious to me. It's been passed down for generations within my family. Whoa. Also, it's also made of gold. So, yeah, don't lose it. I won't. Is that all? That's all for now. And you can see we just got a brand new achievement right after finishing this dialogue chain. It's called the Fisher Biting Today, and you get that achievement once you have caught and sold all 14 normal varieties of fish. And now Donald just repeats himself. We'll take a look at the description for the golden rod. A fishing rod that's apparently made of gold. Rare fish seem to be strangely drawn to it. So uh, again, we haven't caught any rare fish in this playthrough. We just caught one each of the 14 normal fish. And we will talk all about the rare fish in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you real soon.